What is going on, bros? Welcome to the video. Currently, I'm on day eight of my 30 day mini cut. I weighed 197 before I got started, which means that I've already lost over six pounds. And I know you're thinking, holy shit, bro, you lost six pounds in eight days. Tell me all your secrets. But you need to realize that when I switch from bulking to cutting, it means I'm eating a lot less calories, which also means I'm eating a lot less carbohydrates and sodium. And both of these things contribute to a lot of the water weight in your body. So yeah, maybe I've lost one or one and a half pounds of body fat, but realistically probably five pounds of this weight loss was just water weight. And man, that's why it's my biggest pet peeve when people get on the keto diet or the paleo diet or any of these low carb diets. And they're like, yo, I lost 10 pounds in two weeks. I'm getting shredded, bro. This diet is a miracle. It's like, come on, man, chill out. You just lost a little bit of water weight. Let me tell you guys, mixing a cold shower with a pre-workout, it's a very intense experience. It's like, okay, we're awake now, we're ready to make these gains. But uh, Julia would not know anything about that because she's still too afraid to take cold showers. I don't need a cold shower to make the gains. Anyway, now that I'm cutting, something I'm doing differently is I go to the gym before my breakfast because like when you're at the gym, you're not thinking about food, plus the pre-workout contains a little bit of caffeine, which is a natural appetite suppressant. And then it's just a lot easier for me to stick to my intermittent fasting schedule because I don't get hungry till later in the day. And then it's just, obviously you're gonna eat less calories. For today's outfit, we got straight edge going on right here, man. These are the movement joggers launching next month in four colors, super stretchy, super fresh. This right here is my favorite hoodie ever, the Icon hoodie. And uh, keep this on the down low, but we just activated our first coupon code ever. We've never done this before, but I just wanna say thank you to you bros for supporting me and showing me love. We still got hoodies in stock. We still got t-shirts and tank tops in stock. So if you wanna pick something up, click that first link in the description, but I wouldn't wait because uh, the sale ends, the coupon code expires in just three days. Yeah, who up alone on the coast, yeah. Had a few friends that were close, yeah. We were cruising Newport for the show, yeah. Long tan legs, all you know it. Growing up in Cali really ain't a bad deal. The girls look fine and about half a real. I got my mind set on my feet, a bad chick. I wanna see if I can get it. It is a, it's a rare cloudy day here in Austin. Which honestly, it's fitting because it feels kind of like a funeral. You know what I'm talking about? Today is a funeral. I'm about to bury these fucking squats. You know what I'm saying, Julia? No, dude. <laughs> so today, we're putting four plates on there, 405 pounds. We're going for five reps. And technically we hit this in Spain, but the plates were in kilos, so it might have been like a couple pounds less, I don't know. We're gonna make it official today though. And one thing that's super important to do when you're losing weight and you're trying to shred down is it's your natural tendency to lift less weights in the gym because your body doesn't have as many carbs to work with. That's why you need to be extra strong mentally and you need to push yourself to lift the same weights as before the cut when you were bulking because we know there's a super strong correlation between strength and muscle mass. So if you let your body lose strength, you're probably gonna lose some muscle. But if you push yourself, keep lifting the same weights or even increase them a little bit, like you're gonna hold on to that muscle. All right, let's get this shit. And Julia, take a nice low angle on the side for the haters who said I haven't been getting to parallel. I'm 
Feels good, bro. We're gonna get a few more sets with just like three reps. Then it's time for the rest of the fucking workout. Today's finishing move, we got we got burpees. Four four sets of 20 seconds. Let's go. <laughs> burpees are never fun, but doing this every workout, these finishers. Starting to get a little bit easier. So let me give y'all a quick, quick physique update, show you what I'm looking like right now. So I'm gonna put a clip on the screen from, I think it's about a month and a half ago in this exact same lighting. And obviously I'm not looking at them myself right now, but I'm willing to bet that I have a lot more definition in my stomach, maybe even in my arms and shoulders than before because I've lost that initial water weight. When you lose that water weight, you also start to lose the fullness in your muscles and it gets a little bit harder to get a good pump. So yeah, you're gonna look more shredded. You might look a little smaller while you're cutting. It's just something to keep in mind. Anyway, now that I've lost that initial water weight, the goal is to lose like four or five pounds over the remaining three weeks of this shred so that in total I drop like two or three percent body fat. I'm looking leaner, then I can get back to bulking up while maintaining a lean body. So I'm gonna throw my shredding macros on the screen right there. If I eat 2,500 calories per day, that allows me to lose that sweet spot of like one to 1.5 pounds per week. And that's where you wanna be honestly, because if you lose weight faster than that, you're gonna end up sacrificing some muscle mass too. The only exception to this would be if you're someone who is kind of overweight and you have a lot of fat to lose, you could probably get away with like two or three pounds per week. And for me, when I'm cutting, the biggest challenge is keeping my fats in check because I'm someone who just naturally craves high fat foods and that's fine when I'm bulking. But when I'm cutting, if I eat a lot of high fat foods, then real quick I end up going over my calories and not getting enough protein. So today I'm gonna show you a new breakfast recipe I'm experimenting with. And it is not breakfast tacos, I know. If you want to stop watching the video now, I completely understand, bro. But I need, to, I need to challenge myself to learn new recipes that are high protein, high carb, and low fat. to bake up some pro dean pancakes and this is straight from the 30 day shred recipe book for all my bros in the program for everybody else i'm gonna go ahead and pop the different ingredients on the side of the screen there there's a lot of them but basically all you have to do is put them all into a blender blend them up and then you make pancakes and i think by now probably everybody knows how to make pancakes so let's do it let's go. the west coast is the place to be with a little bit of honey you attract the beast it's the best damn thing that you've ever seen just trust me take a ride down the Huntington beach kid i'm feeling good with the drink in my hand i lay out man working on a nice tan <laughs> gotta compete with these ladies damn a quick scan of the sand in the so right here we got four protein pancakes and once you count for the sugar-free syrup which is basically no calories and the half a banana that I put on top of them it comes out to just over 1,000 calories I'll show you the specific macros on my fitness pal so you can see a good amount of carbs pretty low fat and a good amount of protein so like this is exactly what we're trying to do 
So now for the uh, the taste test. Expectations are like it's not gonna be as good as pancakes from Denny's, but hopefully it's not gross either. So I think I need to put a little more syrup. They're kind of dry. Right now I give them like five out of ten, but you know what? Just knowing that they're super good macros, it bumps them up to like the seven out of ten. This one right here is significantly better. I think you can tell that first one I tried was super overcooked, super burnt. This one right here, it's like a 7.5 out of 10. You trying to make these gains? He does not want any of these gains right now. Now, one more shredding tip I got for y'all is that you definitely should invest in a quality protein powder because when you're limiting your calories, it can be really hard to reach your protein goal for the day. Like when I'm bulking, a lot of days I don't even have protein powder because I don't need it. But when I'm cutting, what I'll normally do is I have breakfast, which is normally breakfast tacos. Then I'll have a protein shake. Then I'll have dinner. I don't even have lunch. And because I have that protein shake, it makes it easy to reach that protein goal. And my favorite protein is definitely this 100% grass-fed whey from Transparent Labs. It has no preservatives or artificial sweeteners. If you look at the ingredients list, there's literally like four or five ingredients on there that are all natural. Most proteins have this like long ass list down here with all these random chemicals that you can't even read. And that's not good for you, man. I just had the cinnamon pastry flavor, which is super dope. And the good news is if you want to pick some up, you can use my coupon code to get a nice discount. Just click that second link down in the description. recently discovered this new it's like an Asian an Asian food restaurant here in Austin and like it is a hidden gym if you live in Austin this is a place you want to check out you guys you got to check out this is the new steel this new steel gray colorway for the joggers we're launching check these out man check these out check these out check these out right here bro check these out the <laughs> movement joggers that means you got to move in these things so I just got a fortune and it says, a different world cannot be built by indifferent people. Love that, little little knowledge for you guys. So check this out, man. This is a jalapeno brisket fried rice. Like this is some type of mix between Asian and Texas. So obviously when you make food at home, you should physically measure out the ingredients with like a cup measure or a tablespoon measure. That's what I did earlier for the pancakes. But when you eat out, it can seem challenging to be accurate but it's actually not because pretty much every uh, restaurant has a website that lists their nutritional information. And if you're lucky, you can even go into MyFitnessPal, for example, right now, and I can search Mama Fu, that's the name of the restaurant, fried rice, and they have brisket in there. And if you see here, they have it listed on here. There's 1,100 calories in this meal, 147 carbs, 31 fat, 54 protein. And that's actually not that bad. So looking at my fitness pal, it looks like I got about 400 calories left. And uh, I got something in my pocket that I think is just under 400 calories. Sour strips, the rainbow flavor. Listen carefully. You are now 5,000 miles from land and you're descending seven miles to the bottom of the ocean. See you all in a month. So we just saw underwater. It's like about this big drill in the ocean that drills seven miles under the surface and then they all get attacked by sea monsters. <laughs> Julia, what do you think? Um, it was suspenseful. I was like this the whole time. I was, I was scared. Um, I give it a six out of 10. Six out of 10? To me, the funny thing is like, it's basically a space movie. They're deep underwater, so they can't take their helmets off. There's too much pressure. If they, sometimes they just end up drifting away or some shit. 6.75 out of 10. But like a good 6.75 out of 10. I, I was still pretty entertained the whole time. All right, let's take a look at how I did today. My calorie goal was 2,500. I ate 2,450. So pretty much right on the dot. I feel good about that. And for my macros, I was a little bit too high in carbs, a little bit low on protein, but pretty close. Honestly, as long as I hit that calorie goal for the day, I feel good. But I should do a better job at the protein because I do think that that does play a role in improving body composition. That is going to be the end of this video. If you made it to the end, I appreciate you, bro. Smash the thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, come on, man. What are you doing? Click subscribe and turn notifications on because I drop two new videos every single week and they are all dope as hell. I will talk to all of y'all in the next video. Stay beastly.